WAG, or Rover. Two dog walking companies, whose fit have been changed. How why? WAG is a pet care company founded in 2014. And it offers on-demand, dog walking through a mobile application. Company's value has soared, to $600 million in January 2018. With the investment of $300 million from SoftBank. People trusted that, WAG will grow into a global, pet company. Rover, which was founded in 2011, three years earlier, and was affected from the competitor's investment. Rover's market share dramatically decreased from 57% to 35%, while WAG more than doubling its market share from 11% to 23%. However, another turnaround occurred after year and half. Rover's market share recovered fast back to 51%, while WAG dropped its market share to 16%. Recently WAG had to lay off 100 employees. On the other hand, Rover expanded its business to Europe. How? Why that happened? The slogan saying that WAG is an application that works like Uber. It is convenient way to connect the dog and dog walker by technique. The problem is that dogs are not like cars or groceries. Founders, with the engineering major, and experiences creating social dating apps, focus technology first. It was not about how quickly connecting to a dog walking part-timer, because connecting to a driver and taking care of a dog which is part of your family is different. Problem 1, owners become anxious due to unverified dog walker. There was little or no screening in the process of selecting a dog walker. Anyone could register and work. Other than checking the location of the dog, it was impossible to confirm the condition of the dog. If the dog got scared or had eaten, food that is not allowed for dogs. As a result, in 2018 alone, 5 dogs died and 33 seriously got injured. Further, more than 50 dogs were lost on a walk. Texas-based dog walker fed almonds causing digestive problems and shock. Nuts are a typical food that dogs should never eat. I can't understand hiring a dog walker who does not even have a basic knowledge of the dog. In contrast, Rover checks the applicants in detail. 1. Rover makes to submit a cover letter, and evaluate dog's knowledge, by a quiz. 2. Listen to the experience of raising a dog, through a remote interview, and evaluate the ability, to deal with unusual situation. The average pass rate is, only 25%. If one gets low score from the customer evaluation, this employee is dismissed. Also, the dog walker sends the dog walking video, and if requested, it is possible to make a video call. Problem number 2. CEO never raised a dog before. After investment from SoftBank, WAG hired a large number of technical talents including Hilary Schneider, a former Yahoo technology executive. But Schneider never had a dog before. One former executive said, she didn't seem to understand our service at all, at the first meeting. Problem number three. Too much money, but did not know where to invest. Some have pointed out, that SoftBank spent too much money, before closely investigating about dog business. It's not uncommon for SoftBank, to spend millions of dollars on startups. But I wonder if WAG is worth it. It seems like, driving competitors out of the market with money, and becoming monopoly position. If you do, you may fall into indigestion. Since there was no blueprint for the future, executives were confused. Where to spend their vision fund? For example, they focused on expanding, their service area without planning but unable to differentiate themselves from others. By the end of 2017, WAG expanded more than 50 cities. It increased to over 100, in February 2018. WAG made a global division, and expanded overseas market, but without even having a HR team. Members questioned about the service. Internally, there was a growing doubt about the leadership. Executives announced plans including new expansion, and strategic partnerships, but they were vague. Some employees said, I thought I knew the company's destination, but it's going back to the sea. On the other hand, Rover made clear its vision, of becoming a pet care comprehensive solution company. Number 1. Rover merged with dog sitter startup, Dog Sitter. 2. 
recruited mainly for talented people, like veterinarians. 3. Provided training for dogs to employees, every month. 4. Employed high-quality part-timers, as regular workers. 5. Recently, a cat walking service has been launched as expansion. These two companies show that, startup success isn't necessarily about investment. Investment, is a sensitive issue for startups. But that doesn't determine, the fate of the company. Simple lesson. The ability to understand, and run a business is more important. A lot of money, can mask the company's weaknesses in the short run. But ultimately will fail. So, what do you think? Leave your comments, click subscribe, and like button. Thank you very much.